it's time to tell someone for sure whether or not your story is over. I don't know who this message is for. Please keep scrolling if it doesn't resonate. There's anxiety and frustration on both sides. I don't know if the person has officially put it out there. I don't know if what they said or if it's just a feeling that you're getting or maybe they did say something. Maybe email or long text. I don't know. Somehow, though, you know this. You know it's time for this. I'm just confirming. I'm not trying to tell you anything that is outside of what you're already feeling in your spirit. I'm here to confirm, not to lead you in a different direction. If someone doesn't come to mind, please just keep scrolling. But to them, the story's not over. Whatever you had with them, it was really special to both of you is on another level. Um, for both of you. Like, the kind of thing where, even if you've been apart for a long time, you might still think about this person. And it does not have to be romantic. It can be a friendship. It can be anything. But I do know that we're connected like that. I can tell. And... I know I'm not the only one. I think it, at this point, denying that would be kind of stupid. So you both feel this connection on like a deeper level, another level. Something I was thinking about earlier, the now I see it applies to this, was, you know, there are certain people you could think you can cut out of your life. And, I mean, it's not no hard feelings. You just go on and just replace or whatever, just distract. And you kind of go on and maybe forget about the person. But then there are some people... And I really think about a lot of people from my past, honestly. I just don't reach out to them. I have, fallen, I have fallen off the face of the map, and that's universal for everyone. But I've had to have focus on this. But anyway, I'm letting, uh, that's a little aside there for people who know me in person. If you're following me on here, it's been everybody. I'm sorry, it's not been personal. Imagine if you have a favorite restaurant or a favorite food, something that you can only get at a certain place, or maybe you only want it once in a while, but you really want it. Or maybe you want it more than once in a while. But whatever it is, like, it's something that you, you know, a food, there are certain foods you can live without, certain restaurants you don't care if you ever go back to. But then there are certain ones it's like, dang, really? I never get to get back to that restaurant? I never get to eat that food again? And I know it's a weird analogy, maybe, but some people are just like a different flavor that you just can't find anywhere else. And what you had with them is something that you can't find with someone else. There's just a connection there that was deeper on another level, and I think that's what you're going through on both sides, on both sides. But that doesn't always mean that you need to reestablish the connection. If you do, I would suggest some boundaries or something, or not even that, just long talk, just clear the air, get some things out that you never got out before. I think what happened in the past was communication issues, a lot of assumptions. People do grow and change, that's, a, that's for sure. We're, I mean... I don't know about you. I mean, who wants to think that they're the same person they were a few years ago? So I'm just saying, use your discernment and don't try to make anything happen. Don't try to force anything. Just reach out to source, your spirit guides, ask for a sign if this is actually for your highest good, if this will actually make you happy or if it's just going to lead to more disappointment. Use your discernment. But put yourself first. Worry about your healing first. Don't worry about theirs. Worry about yours. But I do actually get a, a pretty good feeling about this but it's time for that conversation that's the main message here it's time for the conversation i'm not saying you need to reach out to them i still think that you need to let them reach out to you because i'm not gonna be that person who tells you to reach out to someone oh my gosh no 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 you let them reach out to you and if you want to leave a comment below go ahead and then just leave it up to the universe don't even worry about it again don't go on with your life and if it's meant to be it'll be you attract healthy relationships. I'm speaking that into your life. Let me manifest some good things for you. You become wealthier every day. I'm speaking this into your life, remember. It doesn't matter if you agree with it or not. It's going to happen now. I have the faith to believe these for you. Your intuition is strong. And it's going to guide you through this. It is guiding you through this. It completely listen to your intuition. Again, don't make anything fit. Don't look for synchronicities where there aren't any. Don't make things happen. Because, I mean, if you're looking for something hard enough, you're going to find it. So don't look too hard. That's what I mean. Take your eyes off of it. Because if, if you're really looking at it, you're going to notice things that aren't there. And if you just remove yourself from it and just be like, God, I leave it up to you. The universe, I leave it up to you. You can leave it in a comment below because the person might see it. But you need to let them know what you think. You know, just say, please reach out to me. If this, is, if this reading was about you... You don't have to name them. You don't have to name them unless you want to. Just say, if this reading was about you, please reach out to me. I could tell that's working for some people. <laughs> because here's the thing. I know how spirit works with the algorithm. 
I know the energetic connection through the algorithm. I mean, it's just like being in person. In fact, I think it's kind of stronger because here's the thing. The more people that watch these videos, any of these, it kind of gives it more power. I'll be honest with you. It gives it more energy. Like the more I believe in it and I do believe in it, um, the more powerful it becomes. The more people comment on it, the more people share and all this, you know, the more attention it gets. The more you believe in this, the more powerful it becomes and the more delusional you are, the better. So that's why I don't really mind getting your hopes up because that's where we create. That's how we manifest and the best things happen is in that delusional headspace. So anyway, follow your intuition. Your intuition is strong. It's going to guide you through this. You age in reverse. I love that card. You are divinely protected. You are kind. Okay, the last one. And this is a really good one to end on. You flow with love. It is spoken. It is written. And so it is. Amen.